What is poppin' fam? My name is Brennan Myers, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking off my glasses, I'm gonna take off my chain, I'm also gonna be taking off my shirt, and what we're gonna be talking about is cardio. How much should you be doing, and are you overdoing it? So, let's get started right now. Okay, so when you're talking about cardio, first, let's think about why you're doing cardio. Well, like, what, like, what's even the reason? So when you do cardio, generally, you're doing it because, this, this chair's about to break. You're doing it because you wanna burn fat. You wanna lose fat. By the way, this is downtown Denver. I freaking love it here. It's amazing. You got people bringing their little, little bird scooters. Hey, Joanna, how are ya? All, all my friends and family, I have no family here. The main reason why you're, you're trying to do so much cardio is to burn fat and to get leaner, and to maybe even feel better. But the majority of people, honestly, from, from what I've experienced, it's not even about feeling better, they're just like, I just wanna look better. So what are you exactly doing and, and how can we be a little bit more efficient with it so you are burning fat? So you gotta look at your total energy expenditure per day. And when you think about this, it's like if you're walking around, you're doing the day-to-day -day stuff, Remember, calories to, to, to burn fat, you have to be in a deficit each day with all of your calories that you're consuming and, and all of that. So let's just say you're supposed to be eating 2,700 calories, you're 100, and, uh, I don't know, 170 pounds, I don't even know if that's correct. But in order to lose a little bit of weight or even a little bit of fat, obviously muscle weighs more than fat, so if you're gaining muscle, your, your weight might not shift that much. But if you're trying to lose fat, you're gonna be a little bit below that, so it might be 250 calories. If you're trying to burn more than you're consuming each day, um, or even 500 calories. So if your total energy expenditure, let's just say you're burning, I don't know, it, it, it could be it could be so, it varies from, from person to person, but let's just say you're burning, 1500 calories per day uh, doing everything that you're doing. You're talking, you're walking, you're, you're running around, you're doing all that stuff. Well, one tip that I have so that you don't have to do as much cardio is just increase your steps. So instead of just walking maybe 3,000 steps per day, put an, eye, uh, an Apple Watch on or put something like Taylor has on his wrist over here and just go ahead and walk about 10,000 steps, even up to 15,000 steps. Not only is this going to increase the amount of energy you're expending per day, because obviously it's like cardio in a sense, you're just walking, it's very enjoyable, it's not like, like heavy intense type of cardio, nothing like that. You can do it every single day, but it's also going to benefit your metabolism. And your metabolism is extremely, extremely important when you're trying to burn fat, when you're trying to get to the specific physique that you want. So that's number one, increase those steps. Now your cardio, there's three different forms. You know, you have low intensity, you have moderate intensity, you have high intensity. And then you also have high in interval training. Right, so high intensity interval training is something a little bit different. And I wanna to touch on that in just a second. But when you talk about these different levels of cardio, you gotta think about your beats per minute. That's really what it goes on. It's your cardiovascular system. Stop it! So your cardiovascular system is, is very interesting. It, it, it is complex, but at the same time, with burning calories and doing all this, it's, it's not as complex as you think. So while you're doing all these 10,000 steps, you know, you don't need to do 60 minutes on the stair step or 60 minutes walking on the incline or running 5.8 miles every single day. No, not really. You really only should be doing cardio one, two, three times per week, four times per week if you're like on prep and you're like at certain points, maybe even five times depending on the intensity. So one thing that I really like to do is not really ever engaging in low intensity, just to be honest. Because think about it, if you're going, let's say 120 beats per minute, 130, be 140 beats per minute, and you're doing that for 30 minutes, when you could just go on a bike, on a, on a spin bike, and go 160 beats per minute for about 10 minutes and get the same effect, which would you rather do? I mean, for me personally, I'd rather get in and out and also have a better chance of increasing my, my metabolism and getting the benefits from that. So there's actually studies out there about high intensity interval training, which is generally, let's say, you're on a spin bike and you're going as hard as possible for 20 seconds and then you're recovering, you have a recovery phase for about 40 seconds. So you're really, really high with those beats per minute during that, that cycle and then boom, 
it lowers, and then boom, you're back up, really high intensity. So there's studies that say that even for 24 hours afterwards, like after a 30 minute run of high intensity interval training, your metabolism is boosted. And this aids in burning fat. It's like a fat burnishing, uh, uh, furnishing, burnishing, burnishing, furnishing. I, I shouldn't name a company like that. So it's even more beneficial to incorporate high intensity interval training. So with moderate exercise, you're about 150 beats per minute, depending on your age, 100, 155 around that. And then you're really getting into a high intensity training when you're above that. So 160, 170, 180, 190 dying, basically. So my suggestion is to go back a couple steps, eat correctly, eat good foods that, that aren't very caloric, like looking at all, all different types of vegetables, fruits, make smoothies. This will actually decrease the amount of calories that you're consuming per day, which obviously you need to be in a deficit. And then you won't have to do as much cardio. And if you're doing all the steps per day, your total energy expended, like the calories and everything, is gonna be even higher. And I threw that 1500 number out earlier. It, it, it's not that. So keep all these different things in mind. And you'll know when you're overdoing it, when you're overdoing it, when your body is pretty exhausted. It, your body should never be exhausted. It's okay if you're tired, but exhaustion is a whole different story. That's working into overtraining. And you don't wanna be a part of that, trust me. So, step by step, take a couple, take a couple back. It is a step by step process, but you need to take a couple back and just focus on your food, your nutrition, and then also, just do two, two days of cardio, three days of cardio per week, and you're gonna be solid. So that's pretty much it. You think that was pretty good, Taylor? Yeah. Anything else I should talk about? I think that's just about it. was pretty solid, right? Yeah. Also, supplementation, like, don't take any fat burners. Fuck fat burners, like, to be honest, like, God bless. Ugh. Yeah, we don't, we don't like fat burners out here. But there are a lot of foods you can consume that work towards fat burning. They have a lot of properties that help with, with the fat burning process. But you gotta remember, yeah, all of this stuff is calories in, calories out. And you have the right macronutrients, your fats, your carbs, your proteins, everything in one, like, and it's it's all good, then you're gonna be solid. You know, you don't wanna, trust me, you don't wanna just go on like a low carb diet and lower your fats and increase your proteins to like 230 30 grams. You don't wanna do that because you, you use your carbs for a huge source of energy. And so actually, high intensity interval training, the whole point of it is not to use so much of the carb source, but to use a lot more and just taken from fat. It's a really interesting studies out there. I'm not gonna link any, <laughs> so go research. I feel like an asshole. I'm not gonna link any, so go research yourself. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Creating nutrition, creatine HCL, we got the greens, link in the description. Podcast every Tuesday and Friday, super excited about that. I'm like 56 days out, let's go. God bless, we got the win, baby. It's not even about winning yet, it's, um, it's really about just getting as lean as possible and feeling and looking good. I don't know how I look on camera. I know I got big ass nipples. You know what's interesting? I actually got bit on my nipple from a mosquito the other day. It fucking hurt. Yeah, and then I got attacked by mosquitoes this morning. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, thanks for tuning in for another video, and I'll see you next time. Peace!